What's important to Invica, really, for, in my role, I'm looking for consistency. So we have many, many engineers working on lots of different projects simultaneously, and we do need to sometimes be able to move people between projects. So it's very important for us to have a consistent basis so that everyone knows, you know, everyone can quickly set up on the next project, whether they're new to the project or coming back to the project, uh, so they can fully you know, be productive very, very quickly. One of the key things that we were looking for uh, is we have a QA team and we like to be able to build a feature and have it QA'd and approved by the client. So in order to do that, if you've only got a sort of a dev stage production kind of setup like we would have had previously, it's really hard to do that because you know, there's a lot of competition trying to get everything together all at the same time. And sometimes that might only happen every couple of weeks. So now we're in a situation where we can have, um, we can have a branch basically spin up for a specific feature uh, just as soon as the developer's finished it and we can be straight into QA. So it improves our workflow significantly. It improves the visibility for our clients so they can see what's going on and they can test stuff as well. So they can move through the process more quickly. Uh, in a typical project today, we might have 20 or 30 open branches on a large project. So you've got people having their own development branches, you've got UAT branches, staging and so on. So they're very, very high level of branches going on and because they're very cheap, as in cheap to create. So there's no, no real issues there with, with, with sort of space or provisioning or anything. They spin up very quickly and they're immediately available for us to work with. So that's been a massive advantage for us. I think from my perspective, the thing I like most about Platform is that it's slightly opinionated in that what you can do, but not so opinionated that there's only one way. So I know that the ways that are available to do certain things are, have been tried and tested and they work for certain technology stacks and we don't end up going down a road where developing something that might not work. So that, that's the thing for me, which might not seem to be the most important feature, but for me, that's, that's a really important thing. So we still do have the don't deploy on Fridays rule, but actually on the, on the projects that we have with Platform, there is a lot of confidence there that, that that rule maybe doesn't need to exist anymore. So yes, we have seen deployments going out on a Friday now. <laughs>